This video is about linear motion, and we're going to refer to linear motion. We're going to also call it one-dimensional, so we're going to call it 1D kinematics. And kinematics just simply means motion without forces. One-dimensional means it's going to be linear, so it could be on the x-axis, the y-axis, any any direction that we want it to be, but it's it's definitely going to be linear. The next thing that we're going to talk about is distance versus displacement. And so that brings up two terms that we need to discuss. First one is what we call scalar. When we talk about different quantities, we, we have what we know as scalar quantities. Now scalar just simply means magnitude only. Now magnitude is how much. So if I, if I say a car is traveling at, at 70 miles per hour, the magnitude of that speed is 70. That's how much it's going. If I say the temperature is 45 degrees outside, then 45 degrees, that's how much. Those are scalar quantities. The other type of quantity that we have is called vector. Now vector is magnitude, so we have that plus direction. So now we have to give it a direction. So if we say a car is traveling at 70 miles per hour, and let's say it's going south, that would be a vector quantity because this is the magnitude and this is the direction. And so we will be using both of these. Right now we're going to be using scalar at this point but then we will also have vector. So now how does that set up with distance and displacement? Distance is a vector, excuse me, a scalar quantity. All we care about is where you go, uh, how far you go. Vector quantity would be displacement. Now, displacement is how far from your original position did you end up. So let me uh, let me give you an example. So let's say I go one time around a track. So let's say here's my distance around the track. And let's say this is 400 meters. If I were to travel this distance, if I start here and I travel all the way around, and I come in back to here and I end up here I traveled 400 meters so that means my distance because it is scalar it doesn't make any difference my distance is 400 meters but if I were to do displacement and if displacement is how far from the original position did I end up well since I ended up exactly where I started my displacement is zero so that changes calculations a little bit, especially when we start getting into uh, more of the, of the vector quantities coming up pretty soon. So I just wanted to give you, if we say distance, we're going to use a scalar quantity. If I say displacement, we're going to be using a vector quantity. The other thing that that deals with is speed. If we say speed, that is a scalar quantity. And if we say velocity, that is a vector quantity. And I'll be getting more into that in just a minute. All right, linear motion. If we're talking about linear motion, first of all, motion is relative. Uh, if you ever go out and look at the moon at night, you do not see it moving, and yet it is traveling around the Earth at a very high rate of speed. But it's relative. Uh, everything is basically moving, but we don't see that motion unless we have it in a frame of reference. We can talk more about that in class. The next thing about linear motion is speed. And this is what I just covered. And I just want to give you the definition. It is a scalar quantity and it does ma matter. It does measure how fast something is moving and it is the rate at which distance is covered. And so that takes us to this part instantaneous speed, the speed at inst any instant, and then the average speed. So let's look at instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is the speed at any instant. This is what would be on your speedometer of your car. 
if, you, if you're driving and you look, you see the policeman or, or you just happen to be paying attention to how fast you're going, you look down at your speedometer, that's how fast you're going right then. And that gives us our instantaneous speed. The other type of speed that we have is average speed. And that would be the speed of an entire trip. So let's say it takes you 15 minutes to get to school every morning. Just making this up. If it takes you 15 minutes to get to school every morning, and let's say you drove 10 miles. So 15 minutes is quarter of an hour. So let's say my speed is 10 divided by 0 0.25. So that means your average speed for the trip is supposed to be a 5. So that means your average speed for the trip is 40 miles per hour. Does that mean the entire time you left your house and got to school that you drove 40? No. Sometimes you'd be completely stopped. Sometimes you may be going 50 or 60. This would be what is known as your average speed for the trip. And so you have to use the context as to what the question is asking you to do. So here's a couple of questions. I want you to pause the video. I want you to get an answer and then bring them to class with you. Now here's another question. So let's do this one together. If a cheetah can maintain a constant speed of 25 meters per second, so let's say that's a speed of 25 meters per second it will cover 25 meters every second at this rate how far so I'm trying to find distance will it travel in 10 seconds so I have a time of 10 seconds so my formula is speed is equal to distance divided by time so that means distance is equal to speed times time so that means 25 times my time which is 10 so either this is going to cover a distance of 250 meters and there's my answer all right velocity is a vector quantity and that's what good because it does matter how fast which is the speed and the direction it's which it is moving this is my formula and I'm going to rewrite it so I have velocity is equal to my change in position, my change in displacement. And right now, since we're talking about the x-axis, I'm going to use my delta x over time. Constant velocity is constant speed and constant direction. Now remember, if it's velocity, it's magnitude and direction. So that means if you change the speed or change the direction you've changed the velocity and right now constant velocity is going to be both constants constant changing velocity is you've changed either the speed and or the, the direction it doesn't matter you can change one or you can change both so the question now is is it possible for an object to be traveling at a constant speed and still change its velocity. So come to class with that answer and I'll see you next time.